Today we'll be going over a few basic components of your 550 unit. We will start with the front of the unit and underneath the hood you'll find the location of the air box. This is where you'll also find the air filters located under the air box. You'll also find the radiator cap and the coolant overflow bottle. Next you'll need to remove the seat. The seat is secured by two mounting pins into rubber garments. You'll need to apply some pressure to be able to lift the seat up. Make sure to apply some grease when remounting the seat for easier removal in the future. Now that the seat has been removed, you can access the battery panel located on the driver's side. Before removing the cover, you'll need to remove the wing nuts. In this compartment, you'll find the location of the battery, the starter relay, the central relay that contains all the fuses. This can be identified by the three plugs and four silver screws on each corner. To gain access, you'll need to remove the four Phillips screws. Once removed, you'll see the list of identifying the purpose of each fuse on the lid and it has the amperage rating with them. There's also six relays. This is important to know that the relays are non-serviceable. Now you can remove the center cover to access the engine compartment. On the back side of the battery housing, you'll find the rectifier and the ECU controller. You'll also gain access to the dipstick and the oil filter. Underneath the dump bed, you'll find the throttle body, the fuel injector, and spark plug location. 